everybody, this is Well Hater. We're doing another Packet Tracer today. This is Packet Tracer 5214 for the CCNA course number two. What we're going to be doing is configuring SSH on a switch so that we can secure shell into the switch for remote access. So we're just a really super basic one today. So let's get going. Open up our command prompt and we're going to type in telnet and then the address of the switch of the VLAN on the switch. It's going to ask for the password and that's Cisco and then the enable password is Cisco as well. Okay, what's first? Says save the current configuration just in case we need it for later. So we're going to do the copy run start commands and then it says show the current configuration. So what we're doing right now is we're just going to show what the running configuration file is. And it says to look for the passwords. We got a Cisco password here. Jump down to the bottom of the printout. We got another Cisco password there and there. So then we're going to enter the commands to encrypt those. So we're going to do service, password, encryption, enter. Now from the global config, we have to price the, uh, type out do. So we're going to do the same thing. Do show run. And right now, look, we got it. Password are encrypted. Same one up there too. All right, what's next? Secure. Oh, let's see. Verify the passwords are encrypted. Got that. It's generally not safe to use Telnet, and that is true because everything is transferred in plain text. Therefore, use SSH whenever it's available, and that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to first by start uh, setting the IP address or the IP domain name for here, and that's going to be domain name, and then we're going to give it that domain name. So netacad.pka. Enter. We should start racking up some points. Okay. Secure keys are needed to encrypt the data, so we're going to do a crypto key generates uh, what was it RSA enter and then it says it wants us to do the 1024 for the key Oop, not 25 2024 enter so that's done now we're going to create a username now this is really we have to follow these steps in order and make sure you do that in order if not, you're going to get locked out of your switch. Username admin is straight tour. Make sure you spell that right. Man, it's a long dang word. With a secret password of Cisco. Enter. All right. Configure the VTY lines to check the local username database for login credentials and to only allow SSH for remote access. Remove the existing VTY line password. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to do line VTY 0 to 15. So that covers all the VTYs. And we're going to say, what do we want to do first? So local, since we have our username in, we're going to do the local login or login local, enter. Now we want to um, only allow the remote access with SSH. So we'll say transport. Input, now you're going to put your SSH, enter. Lastly, we've got to remove the existing VT line password. So how do we do that? No password, pretty easy, enter. So we got our 100 points. This thing's all configured correctly according to Packet Tracer. Now let's pull out and see if we can get back in. So exit, exit. Now we're not saving this, remember, just in case it didn't work. So to do this, we say SSH space hyphen the letter L. Now you type in your username, admin is tour. Then you give the IP address that you're trying to get to. See how that worked? It prompted us for the password. So now what was the password? Oh yeah, Cisco. We're in. Enable Cisco. Cisco. There we go. So now it says if we got everything right, we're going to save the configuration. So all we got to do is do copy and start. 
except you need a space. There we go. Now we have it. All right, that's all there is to it. You just successfully configured SSH on your very first router. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and wait for some more videos. They're coming out soon. Talk to you guys later. Peace.